Here is Mike Trabaga in now with Jimmy Fairburn and Jim Middleton. Middleton has it. Flips in the Fairburn. Out in front to Trabaga. The world of hockey changed in 1955 when a team from the small town of Penticton took on the Russians and won. They were the best in the world and were given a hero's homecoming. Yes, this was more than just a, a local story. This was an international story. This, this was a, a story of a group of virtual kids. In a four-year period, they won every championship that was available in amateur hockey in Canada and then on to the world and, and uh, absolutely just walked through uh, all of the teams in Europe. McClellan tended goal in an era before protective hockey masks or helmets were used. One night near the end of a tied game, he took a puck shot in the choppers, losing his lower teeth. McClellan chose to keep playing. The V's won. You almost knew that at one point you were going to get hurt, and you did. It was part of the part of the game and you either said I can't handle this and leave or you hung in there and played the game because you loved it so much that you just wanted to play and you knew that that was part of it. Whether it was playing a hockey game with a bleeding jaw or sticking close to his wife through her journey with Alzheimer's, McClellan's life displays a level of toughness that is both gritty and gentle. The story of the Penticton V's is told in McClellan's new book gold mine to gold medal and beyond. It's a life story that begins in the mines of South Porcupine, Ontario. It's about hockey and heroes and taking on the world. For this gold medalist would face the biggest challenge in his golden years. This is not simply a hockey story. This is a story about life. Part of the book is, is, is away from hockey totally and it deals with um, one person's walk through the minefield of dementia. And uh, I, I, I wrestled with that for some time, but I thought, this is a life book. This simply isn't hockey. There are people out there that would like to read this story, even though they're not hockey enthusiasts. And something that, 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 that I was faced with at the latter stages of our marriage and life is the fact that my wife contracted uh, dementia, which uh, Alzheimer's, and we had a... Um, a nine or ten year journey through that and I described that and uh, lost uh, the person that I love the most in the world to that uh, disease. Gold Mine to Gold Medal and Beyond is available in paperback and ebook online with net proceeds to support dementia care. A book signing is also planned. Check the website for details. You know to to have had the recognition and to be able to do the things that we did as a result of our uh, of our uh, hockey uh, life has just been amazing, and I'm 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 just feel very very pleased and very blessed.